Hi guys, all right, so we're gonna work on our second video today. And for this video, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be focusing on applying the eight different techniques and choosing three of them to be able to make our watercolor. So I have chosen to do a bird because my daughter Abigail is obsessed with birds. Um, right here is where I'm gonna insert a picture of what it looks like in the photo. Okay, so you've seen the photo. This is what I printed off my printer. These are desperate times, so I used uh, whatever colored paper I could find in my house. Um, but white paper would be preferable. So at this point, I'm going to take my picture and I'm going to use my watercolor paper on top of it. I'm going to line it up so that it's kind of evenly spread behind it. And then I'm gonna use some tape to attach it to the window to be able to trace through. This is a painting project, not a drawing project. So if you need to trace in order to be able to get the image the way you want it to before we start painting, that's fine. Okay, so I'll see you guys back as soon as I finish tracing. So as you can see, I have sketched out my bird from my drawing. In front of me, I have an egg carton that is styrofoam. Um, also, any kind of ceramic would work. You want something that you can kind of mix your colors in so that you don't mess up your colors, especially on your sets because they're much nicer than mine. For my three, I have chosen to do a fine liner for the uh, one of my techniques. Um, I'm going to use it on my drawing where the eyes and the mouth are. I'm um, in a couple spots where I want things to be really crisp and detailed before I start painting. I'm also going to be using some wet and wet and some transparency because as you can see the wings and the edges of the tail are blurry in the image and I want to be able to have that blurriness. Now unlike the image I'm going to keep my background white so it'll match some of my daughter's artwork a little better. Okay, So I'm just finishing up on the black right now so I'm just trimming around a couple spots on the feet so that I'll keep those crisp lines and I'm going to do a little bit just right here on the edge of the wing. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move into my palettes and I'm going to start mixing the color for the bird. So one of the things I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to mix a lot of different types of yellow. So you want to move into your palette and you're going to put a little bit of clean water into each of those spots with just the straight yellow to start and then we're going to mix in the colors. So just like this. And then I'm going to go in here, I'm going to pick up some of my yellow, I'm just going to go into the different spots to make my different types of yellow. Okay, all right, so for if I want to make it a little darker, a little browner, I'm going to go into the brown, I'm just going to add a little splash of brown in. Right, and that's going to give me a different shade. I wanted a little more. I'm add in some little more. Okay. Same thing if I want to make this a little grayer of a color. I'm just going to add a little bit of black. And then I'm going to swirl it around so we're going to get like a muddier tone compared to the lighter one. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to work on is I'm going to start putting in my color. So I put my image up in front of me on my laptop. Hopefully you have your image is accessible. And if I'm going to start with transparency, I'm going to build up very thin layers to help get the image that I want. So I'm going to start by putting in the gray color that I want for the top of the head, but I'm going to start with it just nice and light because it's always it's a lot easier to make things uh, darker than lighter in watercolor. If you do have an oopsie moment, I would suggest uh, just grabbing a tissue really quick and going in and kind of mapping out or mopping up, I guess is the word to put, way to put it, um, any of the extra color off of it. You also can add some clean water and blot on top of it. 
and that can help in those situations when you're feeling like things are a little more stuck. Now because this is a transparency, you don't want to have colors blending into each other. So I'm just going to kind of layer them on top of each other lightly. And then I'm going to go back in and add more colors as I go. So right here I'm kind of building in some of the duller yellows first and up into the wings because you can see I don't have a white in watercolor, but what I want to do is I want to be able to um, layer very light translucent colors on top of each other to be able to build up the image. So I'm just going to show you a little difference between like a very kind of dry spot where I'm painting and a wet spot. So here at the bottom, I'm working on the tail. And so right here where I'm kind of marking in the black of the tail, you can see that it's like very controlled, right? I have lots of control. Everything I do is kind of very set and easy to work with. Now up here, you see when I hit it, it just kind of like spreads and that's kind of more wet into wet. Okay, I'm gonna go up in here. I'm gonna add a little more black into some spots because I wanna get that flowy blackness with the wet into wet. If you're doing this technique and it's not um, coming across for you the way you want it, if you're not getting that spread of color evenly, just go back into your clean water, okay? And you wanna just add a little water onto the page so it'll spread a little further. Um, for example, if I want this black here to spread more up into the bird like there is in the painting, I can kind of take my water and just kind of add it in there and then I can go back with my wet paint and kind of add it in to get it to spread. Add a little more of the darker black to kind of see the contrast a little more. Okay, so I hope that kind of helps show you kind of some of the different techniques. I'm gonna work a little more on it and then I'll show you that when it's a little more finished. Okay, so looking at my work, I'm kind of happy with where it's at right now. So I'm gonna let it dry. Um, sometimes when it dries, the color changes a little and you want to go back and fix it. At this point, I'd also like to remind you to be kind to yourself. You are working from a photograph, right? Um, this is probably also not a thing that you do every day. So if it's not working out exactly how you like, try to keep that in mind. Um, for me, I always really like working with watercolor because it gives me a chance to kind of be a little more creative and a little more blendy and to be a little more forgiving when things aren't as exact. And I kind of encourage you to think of your work the same way, okay? Be kind. So I just hope that that helped. Um, I'm going to try to edit in some more pictures of close-ups, so basically from start to finish. The plan of the project is this. First, you're going to look through um, the internet, because we're all connected to the internet right now, for an image of something that you want to produce. Okay. Once you find it, you're going to upload it and send it to me so that I can see it. And if you want, you can ask me at that point for what type of images you think are going to work best, um, whether you should be using more transparency or if I think wet to wet will work, whether I think you should use a fine liner, and kind of help kind of come up with those ideas before you start. Then you're going to trace out your image if you want, or you can freehand it, and to be able to make your drawing, okay? Once you've got the drawing part down, you can work on the watercolor part. Once the watercolor dries, if you want, you can go in and erase any pencil lines that you want to erase. Um, you could also leave the pencil lines if you like. I think I'm going to leave mine, kind of like the way that they've turned out. So there's my bird. I'm going to go and let it dry and then hang it up in my daughter's room. Um, in order to be able to send me a picture, I'm going to put another Word document for you to be able to insert the final image on it as well. So you can put both parts up. Um, I'm going to make the one first half kind of just showing me the image as an assignment, and then the second half the assignment to like upload the photo. 
Hopefully we're going to get the uploading photos part working a little better for this assignment. Thank you. Bye. Good luck, guys.